so let's go to Slovenia. Um, I don't have much to say about them. Uh, the artist is Anna Soklic and the song is Voda. The stage performance, I really appreciate that. Ooh, her voice, I like her voice. The auto voice. Oh, yes. In Pustik, I pray you, sir. Ticot no mato, bro, veš. Doubt be said, oh, the ya. Naitasha, you I would have wanted her to stay in this moment. <laughs> Already? Yeah, it is. The, the, that went fast. That went quickly. Um, oh my, this was difficult. Because I love her voice. Oh, that voice from the verses, you know, when she's really low. I love a low sombre female voice but then she kind of just has to flex her vocal muscles you know <laughs> oh it's such a pity I I understand it I also when I sing I have quite a big vocal range and it's kind of te kind of tempting to always always show all of it but as i have grown older i have learned that the expression and the feeling is much more important than me showing off and i can feel here that i would have wanted to hear her hear what what could they do with that somber low voice that she had and of course um and also, in the following piece, in, in, in the choruses, it would have worked, but just that I 
uh, that that is so strong and then she also have to wail up and, and that's a bit uh, a bit of a pity I liked it but I think it's a pity that they didn't <sighs> that this song didn't trust her. I usually talk about the singers trusting the song, but this here, the song doesn't trust her or she doesn't trust her, I don't know. Uh, she could be interesting enough. It was in the original language and I like that. I have stated that before. And that of course is a bit difficult when it's a song like this because we have no idea what they say. But in this case it didn't really matter i kind of liked it anyway because of the feeling the sense of all of it so um i liked it but uh there were things that lowered my points uh on this one yeah bye